world. <laughs> Morning. Morning and welcome back to King in It. So yesterday we left Koh Panyang and the non-existent full moon party and we came to Koh Tao. So you got the boat and now we've just arrived at, well last night we arrived at Summer Guest House Hostel which is really really cool. The guys here are lovely aren't they? Yeah it's massive. We love a good big bedroom to mess up don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm awfully nervous, Craig, because we're going scuba diving. It's like one of the top rated things to do in Koh Tao. You can get your paddy license and everything. We're not going to do that because can you imagine me trying to teach people how to scuba <laughs> dive? Just Today, breath, you're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so nervous just thinking about it though. I wasn't nervous, but then Craig was just like, I'm actually really nervous about this. And I was like, well, if you're nervous, then I'm nervous. I think it's just more excited than nerves. Like the last, I've done this before, but it was like eight years ago. I did it in the Great Barrier Reef, which is lucky because that's slowly going to be nice. non existent, isn't it? The guys at Phoenix Divers that we're going with, they're going to send videographers down with us so we don't even have to take the GoPros because, well, obviously, you can't deep sea dive with a GoPro. Just remember that you need a housing or whatever. But um, so we don't have to really do anything, we can just enjoy ourselves, we don't have to film anything. It's going to be great. So I think we do some training in the pool and stuff like that, but yeah. we'll film all this for you anyway. So yeah. we got to go because obviously, obviously. we're late. Oh. So uh, see you there. Okay, so we got a bike last night when we arrived just to get some food. How much did it cost us? It was 300, but the guy said that around here you're likely to get like knocked with scratches and stuff and they don't try and rip people off here. So we're just like, pay the extra 50 and don't have any hassle. Yeah, make sure you go to someone reliable when you rent a scooter on Kotao because they will, they'll charge you for nothing, so be careful. To the diving centre! Oh Craig, will you help me if I get into difficulty? Maybe, I'll have a go. Yeah. So we're doing a scuba diving for a beginner's lesson today. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine, yeah? <laughs> yeah we'll be fine. Fun. Look at these knees. How long have you guys been Thailand for? We've been here for a, uh, like a month now. Yeah, I'm sure you maybe understand already, you know, if you get an increase in pressure, you get a decrease in volume of any gas. So if you think about it now, we're sitting in this classroom, we're at Okay, so we've just had a classroom brief. We know all about equalizing and neutral buoyancy and all that kind of stuff. I know everything, yeah, I, I really do. Are you excited? <laughs> no. <laughs> it is a bit nerve wracking because you sign the waiver and they're like, you could die scuba diving. So you have to sign it being like, if we die, it's fine. There's lots of things to remember though. I just hope I remember them because obviously you can't talk when you're down there. So, um, yeah, I just, I just got to not panic. Yeah. Like, you have to sign a waiver saying like you're not claustrophobic and all this stuff. And I'm just like, am I? <laughs> am I claustrophobic? The good thing is though, you can spew in the snorkels. <laughs> so if you have any problems. In the, in the thing you breathe in, you can, you can spew in it and it'll just take it out of the sides. That's gross, <laughs> but that is going to happen. Oh, it's fine, so, I'm fine. So we've done that. We've spent about half an hour in there just getting clued up and now we're gonna do some training in the swimming pool so we make sure we can know what we're doing before we actually get in the sea. Good to go? Okay, yeah, just relax. So Amy's gotta get some prescription goggles because she got really thick glasses. So they said they got some. Hopefully they got the right ones for it. So what we do with these is we kind of fold them back like this, yeah? Okay. Put them onto her face. Who? <laughs> 
Is it left and right or is it just... Nope, they're, no. they're, they're the same. You look smart. You think you'd be okay with just a jacket? Got a date tonight, haven't I? Got a date? <laughs> How's it feel? Heavy. It's like carrying a large child on my back. <laughs> cool. 2018, and now you stand up, take the weight. Ooh! Yeah. Uh -huh. Good? I think so. Don't lean back. Just lean forward. Yeah. Okay. And kind of little steps, nice balance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good. Cool. Like the world's strongest man, like, you know, when they're like. <laughs> okay, we're geared up, we're going to the pool. Wait for me! <laughs> introduction in the pool and uh, it's quite scary wasn't it at parts but then at the same time it was like really easy the guys are so like calming and, like they just make you feel super comfortable the last time I did this they just drove us straight out on the boat to the barrier reef we jumped off they told us how to equalize and we just went straight down it was like a proper pirate tour but these guys are awesome so had a little swim about in the pool learned a few techniques and stuff and now we're having like a 45 minute break to get some lunch and then we're going to go out, out on the big boat but Amy's feeling a bit appreh apprehensive I'm hiding behind the camera she's hiding behind the camera what are you apprehensive about Amy? you pretty, you know me I get travel sick and I forgot to take the tablets this morning so I feel like shit but like when I was in the pool doing it and that I was like oh okay you know I, could, I can do this it was fine, you know, I found myself going like this a lot and I was just like, relax. It's the whole breathing thing that scares me, but there's nothing to worry about. You've got one like snorkel thing, thank you. And then you've got a backup one, for if you lose it, you can just, oh, you can take someone else's. I think the thing that scares me is that you can't just come up fast. Say, you, say you're flapping or whatever, you can't just come up fast. They say you have, they're planning on doing like, coming up nine meters in a minute so you do it slowly because you know you know you have to equalize and it'll bad for you but there's nothing to worry about i know there isn't i'm just i'm just I'm nervous. it's a mind game isn't it yeah i don't know because you you forget about the whole breathing thing when you're in there because you, you're just breathing normally you'll be fine babes I'm sure I will. Because the guy was like, you'll never do anything like it. Like, underwater is just another world. The things you're going to see. And I was like, I know. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, 
So we're on the boat now, we've just come out from the dive. One of the most amazing things ever. Like terrifying, absolutely terrifying, because you just like, what if I start panicking? What if I freak out and I'm like 20 meters underwater? So all these things like run through your head. But if you just take a look around and just breathe real slow, it's just so beautiful down there. It was awesome. We both did really well, Amy was okay. She was flapping before. In the last like 15, 20 minutes, Amy got a bit sick, but we were down there for 52 minutes. They said that we were breathing really well, which is unusual for newbies. Came back up and Amy's really rough now, so we didn't go down for the second dive. You see it behind me? Just lying down. Travel sick Tracy has arrived. So hopefully she can shake her, but what a bloody time. Kotao is the one. So the guys are literally just coming up now. You can see their bubbles. They're coming up from the second dive. So I've just been jumping off the boat and just frolicking about on my own, waiting for them. So we're going to head back to dry land soon, hopefully. Amy feels a little bit better later on. Bless her cotton socks. It's working, how's the life? Did you have a good time, babes? I had a bloody brilliant time. Apart from the sickness, but we were down there for so long, it was inevitable. I forgot to take the tablets. I took them like 20 minutes beforehand. And they're these stupid things that are like, take two hours before your journey. Two hours. But no, it was it was brilliant. Like it, it really is a different world down there, isn't it? Mental. So it's so good. Everything's like slow motion as well. It's crazy. But yeah, you, we both went through that fear where we were just like, if I panic now, I'm gonna die. And I think that's the thing with scuba diving, isn't it? It's like, yeah. you're so far from the surface, but you just gotta remember, you just gotta keep breathing and then you're grand. But there was a girl on the boat who, she couldn't do it in the pool. She was panicking in the, in the pool, so she didn't get to go down. That really shocked me because I thought that that would have been me. Like, like I was really sad for her because she could, she couldn't do it. But at the same time, I was like so proud of both of us. You did really well, but like we, there wasn't even like a time where we thought, oh, maybe we can't do this. It was just like, I'm scared. I know I am, but this is something we've got to do, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. And I don't regret it at all because it was fucking oh, brilliant. Yeah. Wasn't it? it was. Yeah. Excuse my French. <laughs> Yeah, the, the guys just made it as well, like Rory and Colin, they were just so chilled and they were just like, it's easy. They just made you feel so relaxed, didn't they? He, he literally, he sort of sat me down because they sent us off for food and I just, I just couldn't eat anything. I had like some toast because I was so nervous. 
and he, he just said come over here and we sat down and he, he just he talked me through absolutely everything they were going to do bit by bit which is exactly how I'd be as an instructor, I think. Yeah. So that's brilliant. Because everything that he said happened and I knew I knew what was coming and I think that's what I need. I'm I'm so proud of us, Craig. Oh it God. is such a big thing, because it's such a like it's all in your head. And you know me and my fainting. You know, if I think what for one second I'm hot, the anxiety comes up, it all builds up and I faint. And there's just no chance of, of doing that when you're down there. Like you can't even start to think oh God, you know, I'm going to start panicking. You, you is, just can't. Which is what I did on the way down. About 10 meters down, I was like, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> and I was like, hold it together, because you're going to drown. And yeah. I did, but it was fine. But once you're down there and you're breathing, you look around, you just forget you even it's got crazy. stuff on. It's mad. But yeah, you've got to be at one with yourself. But I think if you're going to do it this way, it's brilliant because you get that training in the pool first. Like Craig said, he did it in the Barrier Reef before. They and just, just like, us in. Off you go then. <laughs> I, I don't know what I would have done. But yeah. The, yeah, the team was, they were really professional. I cannot talk highly enough about them. So good. So Phoenix so Divers, good. we'll link them in the description. Like if you come in, yeah. I'd go, I would go with them. Yeah. Bloody brilliant. Yeah. Thanks for having us guys. Oh, one thanks, of the best days guys. ever. It was so cool. There's another one ticked off the bucket list. Yeah, we're doing right, I think we? I'm getting like more, more scared of shit as I'm getting older. Do you think that's the thing? Maybe. It was so funny, just as we were going in, <laughs> we were all strapped up with all of our gear and <laughs> we had to jump off the boat and it was about two meters high. And Amy was like, what, is this allowed? Can I I'm just like, sit down and jump off? What is happening? Like, I can't jump off that. Do you know who I am? Have you seen the vlogs? <laughs> okay, and on that note, that is it for today's vlog. So if you're brand spanking new, thanks so much for hanging around with us, you little devils. And obviously press subscribe. And if you're not new, guys, I hope you feel proud of me and Craig, because I know Craig was shitting himself, but he didn't want to sure. say to me because <laughs> I would have just died. So always remember to rule your own world because we try and rule ours. And it's just freaking, it's wicked when you're happy doing what you love. One, two, three, bye! bye.